being able to play for the national team um, this past year, it's, it's, it's pretty emotional, actually, because um, it's like when you play on a basketball team, you create a, a brotherhood. All right. You meet you meet people that you probably have a relationship with for the rest of your life. You know, a lot of times, you know, you have to, to really appreciate the relationships that you build over time. And I met some really good people in Ukraine, man. And to see their country going through something like this, where they literally had to, you know, like tell themselves that this is not going to happen. When I really felt deep down inside that they knew that this war was going to happen. It's like they knew they had to tell themselves that this is not going to happen just to like be sane. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I was blessed enough to get out of there and play against Spain, you know, for the national team. And on my way back, that's when everything it hit the fan. And those guys didn't want to play that game, man. Like they was worried about their families and things like that. I was surprised the game even went on. But my most memorable moment would, would have been the standing ovation. And I put it on my page that Spain gave the Ukrainian guys after we played the Spanish national team. And man, like the emotion and the guys writing no war on that on their face. Like I was a part of that. Like I'm, I'm from the south side of Chicago. I would have never imagined in a million years that I would be representing a country, you know what I'm saying, let alone Ukraine, you know what I'm saying, in basketball. And here I am, you know what I'm saying, Jerome Randall, south side of Chicago, representing the country during the toughest time in history for their country. You know what I'm saying? And it's pictures of me being there right alongside these guys. You know what I'm saying? Like emotional as hell, you know what I'm saying? And dealing with what it is they're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was tough. It was really tough.